Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Evelyn's 3D Job. This is the first video of my tutorial series where I'm going to be showing you how to export from Blender the several physics simulations Blender has and import them to Unreal Engine. The file format that we are going to be using to export this physics simulations from Blender and importing them to Unreal Engine is going to be Alembic ABC. Alright, on this video I'm going to show you how to export the liquid simulation. As you can see in here, I have a simulation of refried beans falling onto a tortilla. I am Honduran, so this is really typical of us to eat with fried beans on a tortilla okay so you can see you can make several things with this liquid simulation and depending on the viscosity or the lack of viscosity you can make several things with it like for example And also you can make objects fall into liquid or going out of it. Let me clarify first that I'm not going to be showing you how to create a liquid simulation. I, in this video I'm just going to show you how to export it from Blender. So the first step to be able to do that is to make sure that you have everything baked also you will have to have this option chosen liquid let's scroll down click on mesh and have the option in mesh generator to be final and let's see okay only that so in here you can see I already have it baked now that we made sure that we have everything in order we're going to choose all the export I'm going to choose the tortilla which is my effector and also the refried beans the inflow with that which I have here hidden it's not necessary to export it we're going to export only the domain and the effector. Now we're going to go over here to export. We're going to look for the Alembic. Okay, and in here we're going to make some changes. On scale, we're going to add 100. This is very important, otherwise, it's going to export very, very little and you will not be able to see it in Unreal Engine frame start and end we always have to make sure that the end will be what we have here baked which is 100 selected objects only we're going to choose that one we're going to continue going down we already have all these options chosen by default and as you can see here, we have two different materials. So we're going to choose face sets. So in a real engine, we can use our materials. Something that you should know is that when importing these type of files to a real engine, the limbic ones, they're not going to import with the materials that we have here. They're always going to be black. We're going to show that later on okay we continue going down we're going to choose here triangulate we can choose beauty in here in method quads and that's it we can uncheck this one export her because we do not have her but we're going to leave export particles on because we have in particles the liquid particle that was created with this simulation export alembic 
All right, now we're going to move to Unreal Engine. So we go here and we have our file here. So we click open. All right, we're going to get these import options pop up. In import type, we're going to choose geometry cache. In here, we're going to click this option, skip empty frames. We're going to continue going down and here we're going to check create materials. Let's remember that the materials that are going to be imported will be completely black, all of them. So we need to create our own materials here. We're going to go to conversion and we're going to click on Autodesk 3ds Max. Okay, everything done, import. As you can see, we already have it imported with the black materials as mentioned. We're going to click it, double click, left mouse button. We're going to go here to geometry cache and in materials, we're going to click this little arrow and we're going to substitute these materials. I already have them in here. Great. Let's click save. We close and then we bring this onto the viewport. We hit play and there it is, our animation, perfect. When the Alembic file has not been exported properly, it's corrupt, it will make Unreal Engine crash. At least that's what happens to me whenever the export has not been done correctly. Two tips that I can let you know in case you're having trouble with your import to Unreal Engine is to make sure that liquid this option has been enabled because I have encountered that sometimes with Blender it must be a bug if I don't have this enabled it will not let me export the animation properly the second tip that I can give you is that when the frame end of the cache of the domain is different from the one that you have over here when exporting the file in the options make sure that the mount frame that appears is the cache and not the one that you have over here the export options will always pick up the one that you have over here so you will have to change it or in case that your project allows you always make these two values the same so you don't have any issues all right Thank you very much. I hope that this video is useful to you. If you have questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment below. If you like this video, please don't forget to give a like, comment and subscribe for more of my videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day or night. Bye.